Hi, welcome back. We're at, here at Coral Isle Builders and we're on one of our job sites. And what I'm here to show you today is how we build a house. There's, there's a lot of ways that are approved building methods that they use in Florida. Some of them are good and some of them are not so good. What we like to do is build the best possible house and foundation that you can get for your money. And basically what we do is we start with a footer on the property, we've dug it in, we've poured the concrete, we brought up the stem wall, we've filled it, and then we pour our slab. And what's happened is we're now at the part where we've put the tie beam on. Now we stripped it yesterday and you can see that the concrete beam that runs around here, it's all solid poured. There's gonna be four number five rebars in every one of these. There's gonna be a down rod that's tied into the rebars that are on the top tied into the floor. But what this is is a continuous pour. It's much more solid, it's much more rigid, and it exceeds building um, standards. Standard for building here in Southwest Florida is a lintel beam. What a lintel beam is, is an eight inch wide, eight inch tall, pre-cast piece of concrete, one steel bar in that piece. And they pour it, and it's this big, and it meets hurricane standards. As you can see behind us, ours are eight inches by 16, and then some of the doorways are poured to 24 inches. And what it does for us is it gives us a much stronger, much more rigid house. A little beam meets 168 mile an hour wind speed. This exceeds it. It exceeds it by a great deal. In the concrete, you'll see above us is a strap that comes out. That's your hurricane strap. And what happens is we put that hurricane strap down in the wet concrete. We attach it to one of the steel bars that are in there and pull it up. And then when the truss is set, we shoot it into the tie beam and then the roof is much more structurally sound. We're one of the few builders in this county that is actually the concrete contractor, the masonry contractor, and the framing contractor. What that does is give us control over the quality of the structure. If the structure's not strong, the house is not strong. And you're gonna be hard fought to find somebody that builds it any better than this. 90% of the builders in Lee County actually use a lintel beam. It's acceptable. It meets, it meets hurricane standards. This exceeds it. If you're going to build in a wind zone like Florida is, I want the strongest, best built house that I can get for my money. And here at Coral Isle Builders, that's exactly what you get. 